Hello everyone, um, Marcus Valenta here. Um, so today is my first uh, video of my metal, uh, my gold refining uh, series. So what I'm gonna do first is um, is show you what to do with um, just pieces of um, of a circuit board that still have some gold plating on it, but that isn't easy to take off. So, um, so this is mainly from the Samsung phone that I just ripped apart. And you can see here there's the rest of it with an iPhone that I also took apart. These, this, um, these pieces of gold right here, um, these are just, um, pieces of metal, uh, a couple SIM cards in there. Uh, they're just pieces of metal, mostly steel coated, they're like electro, they're like gold plated. So um, I'll have to find a way to refine that. Um, but that's why I could, I, that's why I took off like manually from an iPhone and uh, a little bit of from this phone. But most of this phone didn't have that much gold in it. It mostly had the circuit board that, as you can see here. It's kind of tarnished because I had to put it in a fire to scorch it down a little bit. Um, but it has gold on it, but I can't really take off that easily. So um, today I'm going to show you how to refine this and make it into this. As you can see, it's like copper and there's some gold, but it's kind of like blackish because I um, I also put it in a fire to, to burn it a little bit. Um, so what you're going to need is easy a pepper shaker thing, pepper grinder, and it's actually quite simple. So what you do is you take your circuit board and you put it into your grinder like that, there you go. Um, then just put your grinder back together so mine just works like, a, works like that, put that on it this washer on it and uh, there you go you can tighten this as you grind but um uh, and you'll get like a powder but like a lot of um a lot of crushed up uh, ceramic or whatever the circuit board is made of like silicon or whatever and uh, you'll have to pan that out and uh, wash it a couple of times um, I'm also going to be showing a video of how I just take a random phone and I just extract everything that's valuable out of it. Uh, here are some pieces, just random pieces. There's like a couple cameras. There's an A9 Apple or A8, uh, no, Apple 8 chip or whatever. Uh, a uh, Apple SIM card tray, a couple speakers, a couple cameras. And uh, I'll just show you how I take a full phone apart from beginning to, yet to end. I'll be taking this Motorola razor apart. Um, I'm going to expect to get a lot of gold circuit from these buttons. So I'll, I'll do the same process for this and refine that too. But anyway, today I'm really just going to show you how to do this. And uh, basically you just close your ring. There's already some coming out there. but um. So just turn this and tighten this thing at the top. Just tighten this as you go. But um, there you go. As you can see, I tend to go. Sorry about that. Uh, I tend to go like a couple of ones forward, and when something gets stuck, like a circuit board, I go backwards a little bit and forwards again. Um. So I'll uh, uh I'll catch you guys when I'm done with this. Okay, so I'm about halfway done, but I just want to uh, tell you guys two things. So when you're doing this, you want to do it on like a pad of paper or something like that, or just directly in your pan, gold pan or whatever. Just you know, um, or in some com or in some kind of a container, because uh, this stuff is really fine, and even you can see that it, uh, even like my finger or like a right, I mean, it's really fine, like, powder, so, I mean, it, it, it sticks to almost anything, so you want to have a 
the least amount of like transferring to do. Um, the second thing is when this thing can actually get jammed up with pieces of metal, uh, like this piece of steel that I had to take out. You see, there's some gold on that, but it's really not. It's really not worth it. So um, I'm just gonna take this and uh, put it off to the side, and then can keep on going. Okay, finally finished. So um, as you can see here, we have some uh, pieces of what looks like copper. Or, I mean, throughout the the powder, you can see some some hard pieces which are are metal and uh, gold on it. So you see, they're not going to put gold directly on the circuit board. What they do is they put it on a base metal, and uh, then they put like copper mostly, and then they electroplate it onto that. Um, now another way of doing it, instead of going through this whole hassle, is um, is uh, uh, just dissolving the base metal. So you have these flakes of gold, and then you can um, and then just dissolve the gold itself. Um, which is also another way, but I am very limited on acids right now, and um, basically I have none, so um, I'm doing this an alternate way. So, um, so what you're going to want to do now is uh, take some some kind of magnetite, just like black sand. You can just get this from putting a magnet on a, in some sand on a beach, and uh, you see I got quite a bit. I actually just took like these black patches that I found on um, on uh, on the beach and just put them into like a big pan and just panned them out and they sank right to the bottom because they're mostly iron oxides and things are magnetic. Anyway, so this is the ref a, a refined version. As you can see, it doesn't really seem very pure, but that's because I already used it when I was making this. But anyway, so it's mostly pure with the contaminants that we're actually just trying to get out. So you add that to it, and then we're going to take this and um, put it in my uh, lovely pan here, and then we'll just wash away the um, the ceramic kind of um, circuit board material, and we'll be left with this plus some magnetite in it, and then we'll use a magnet to take that off, and we'll have our material that we're looking for. And of course that will dissolve in, a, in, in acids when I actually have them, and I'll make another video following up on this one. Okay, I'm in my backyard with the stuff, and now I'm going to adjust a little bit of water in here. And um, this tent plastic stuff tends to uh, to float when it's um, when it's dry so all you have to do is just all you have to do is just uh, tap it down into the water it takes quite a while so uh, give me a second okay uh, here we have the um, wet material there are gonna be just some pieces of plastic that are floating but uh, Basically, what I want to do is just get this nice and fluidized, uh, and then I'm going to add an angle like this, so it sinks mostly to the bottom. Tap it down, then it's sinking forward, and then just let it settle for like a second, and then you can just take all the good stuff out, and then come back over here. two different kinds of substances this black stuff that's kind of lighter and just floating around and our, um, our what we want so what we're going to do is tip the whole thing the other way slowly until you get to the edge of the material move it around just slightly and you can just separate it off like that and just keep on doing it to do that as 
move like that. Plastic. Back stuff as possible. So then here, just washing it. pieces that have been like that look kind of looks chewed on that's uh, from, our, from our pepper grinder so as you can see you can't stop or else that powder will settle too so then we pull our grinder back to the edge We're gonna do something like that. Anyway, and there we have almost. Well, not really pure at all, but it's easier to get to. And it doesn't really look like it, but there is gold in there. And uh, once we d dilute the copper away with some just pure nitric, the gold will be left behind in a pretty finely divided state. But um. Uh, but then we can dissolve it in aquarita, which is um, nitric and hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we're back inside with the uh, stuff. And uh, so what you're just going to want to do is slightly just dry it off with, uh, with, a, piece of, with a piece of cloth. And make sure to wipe that off. And we'll just have this um, this light shining on it, and uh, that'll dry the, the rest of the way. And we can um, then we can separate the magnetite out with a magnet much easier, and not stick to it. Okay, so it's been sitting on this lamp for quite a while now, and uh, it's all dry as you can see. And. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magnet, which I have in a plastic bag, because I hate cleaning the magnetite off magnets. And um, I'm just going to connect all the stuff. So as you can see at first, a lot of the, um, a lot of the magnetite is going to like, is going to like pinch, um, it's going to pinch like the copper. And there'll be some on the magnet. Let's see. And uh, so all of that needs is just a little bit of moving, and uh, it's kind of be it's gonna be kind of like distilling off water. Where um, where I'm gonna take this off now. I'm gonna take this off and put it down, and we can evaporate. Not really evaporate, but just take the magnetite out, and you'll see um, some uh, some of the copper fell off. I'm gonna do that until I have almost only magnetite on this, and then I'll separate that out, and this will go into my little bag here. And then in part two, when I have enough acids, I'll uh, I'll be refining this. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.